So when I first made this wide receiver here, I made him built like Calvin Johnson, same weight and everything, except I was white. So instead of calling myself Megatron, I called myself Optimus Prime. Why not? Because it's the opposite. I mean, I'm the white version. I don't know. I was I thought I was being clever, but that was on my stream. Uh, this is week three and four, guys. It's the Mad Canine here commentating as always. I didn't start this the week three out very well. I fumbled off my very first reception. Almost broke free here for that long touchdown run. But if you notice, I changed the quarter length down. I've mentioned that in a few other of my videos. It, it was at four minutes, and then I changed it to five minutes and different play clock winding down thing. So uh, I think it's a good balance now. I average like six receptions and it's 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 close to the other wide receivers too so uh that's how i'm keeping it realistic as much as i possibly can so <laughs> um hope you guys like the new format and setup but um they madden updated that was a really beautiful catch right there by the way uh i'm a red zone threat so i'm i'm not fast but i'm tall enough to make red zone spectacular catches like my catch is bad and i can fumble really easily like, I can miss wide open catches, but I can make spectacular catches, you know. It, I'm like Victor Cruz, sort of. Like, he misses wide open catches, but he's he pulls off the most ridiculous touchdown catches ever. Right there, I looked a lot faster than everybody else. It was just because I gained separation with uh, Joe Flacco's pass. Uh, Joe Flacco, is a he bounces back and forth, man. I, he's, he's a good passer sometimes, and sometimes I call for the ball, and he, like, floats it up high. And it gets picked off. I think there's one of those in a bit, and I'll I'll point it out when it gets there. But yeah. Anyway, so uh, Madden 13, they made an update so you can edit your player and such. So after this game, we we beat the Patriots. Um, I went back into settings. Uh, how many? I got 165 yards, two really good plays, two touchdowns. I had a pretty big game. Uh, but I just I adjusted my character to look skinnier, like less of a tight end looking kind of guy, so it would make more sense in my opinion and look more realistic. I'm number ten, I guess that's a cool number for a wide receiver. I got the sleeves there, but it's not cold yet. Uh, I found out that it has to be cold out in the winter before it before it puts the sleeves on. You can't just have the sleeves on during a hot game, which I guess makes sense. Uh, it's understandable. Uh, that was a nice one-handed catch I had with my left hand. Like you know, red red zone threat I think is the best wide receiver to be, just because I mean you're gonna get more touchdown looks than I was thinking about being like a Wes Welker like route runner like slot receiver, but um, I just I preferred red zone threat and it made me a higher overall on the Ravens too since their wide receivers aren't as good and Joe Flacco isn't as good so. I'm here. I'm here to help the Ravens' passing game. I'm here to make the Ravens' offense relevant, because we already know their defense is relevant. Uh, unfortunately, Ray Lewis got injured, so um, that sucks for them. I think they're gonna. I don't think they're gonna do good for the rest of the year. They're five and two. I don't know if they're gonna. It's gonna be close, man. I think they'll finish eight and eight or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'm. I, it's real. I'm really curious to see how the rest of the season's gonna go. Um, that pass, previous pass, was uh, I was out of bounds. I looked at the replay. They called it a complete catch, so I wasn't complaining. And then that's when I get most cocky is when it's uh, in the red zone. And I call for the ball no matter what when it's in the red zone. And I did there, and it got picked. And uh, also notice he doesn't pass to just me. I don't call for the ball every single play. Right there I called for it. I wanted him to throw a bullet pass. This is what I was talking about. This is the play I was talking about. Joe Flacco just throws it up there. And it's an easy pick for the defense. Uh, I do let Ray Rice run the ball a lot too, is whenever it's a run play. But I just don't show it because uh, whenever the computer is uh, in charge of running, they always do this weird juke move every play, and it slows them down, and they always get tackled. So even if it's Ray Rice, they get they don't get yards. So unfortunately, Ray Rice is not going to have a good year <laughs> in this connected career. But I am, so that's what's most important. It's I I mean I can't I can't change the difficulty of just the running backs and for them to not do that juke move, but they always do the juke move and they never pull off big runs. So it's not my fault. I feel bad for Ray Rice, but uh it's not gonna happen this year. Um the only touchdown went to Dennis Pitta. 
or their tight end, and I, I didn't, they pulled me out of the game after that one catch, and I was in the red zone, and they pulled me out, but we got a touchdown apparently, if you saw, and I wasn't a part of it, so I didn't see the t- game-winning touchdown, but we won against the Browns, who we were losing to bad, and now we're 3-1 and one on the season, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, I hope you guys like that I'm putting out more videos per day, and uh, I will see you guys in the next episode, alright, later guys. Thank you.